Hi, as of now we have discussed a lot about the Angular 2. Now it's time to set the environment so that we can start the implementation of Angular 2. So in this particular video, we'll see how to set the environment for Angular, including the installation of Node.js, which will provide us the NPM. And then we will go to the GitHub to get the basic structure of your Angular application. And then we will be good to start with the Angular implementation, but that we will start from the next video itself. But now let's see how to set up the environment for the Angular 2. So first of all, for setting the environment of Angular, what we'll have to do, we will have to set the node environment. As I said in the description, we require NPM that is node package manager for setting the environment of the Angular. So first of all, what I will do, I will just download the latest edition of it means whichever the stable release you have, you can download that particular edition of Node.js. And once it is done, you can execute this MSI file for the windows. So once you will click on the executable file, that is the MSI file, this wizard will be started. You can simply just accept the license agreement and keep on clicking the next button. It will install all the required features of Node.js, including the NPM. So let's click on install and it will take a while to get installed completely. So now as you can see, it is successfully installed. So let's click on finish to exit the wizard. And the next thing which we have to do is to jump on the GitHub site where you will find Angular slash quick start. All right, so just you follow this particular URL. This is the official path for the Angular startup website. So what you can do, even if you are not a member of GitHub, you can simply download the startup file in a zipped format. So let's click on this download zip and it will download the zip file in your system. So this is the zip file which I have downloaded and I have already copied that in my target folder that is angular underscore tp. So what will I do? I will just right click over it and will extract. So let's say extract. All the files will be extracted in a while and here you can see all the files, required files. So what I will do is I will just select all these things and will cut it and will paste it here in the main folder that is angular tp and since I don't require this uh, quick start master the empty folder and I have already extracted this zip file so I will delete these two things. So now this is the scaffolded template provided by angular for creating a basic angular application. So as here you can see this is package.json if you are a bit familiar with angular and node.js you know like here the package.json contains the complete application details here. So what I will do I will just uh, change the name of this that is uh, I will take it to angular underscore tp and here you can see there are so many scripts and apart from that there are so many dependencies. So what I will have to do, I will have to install all these dependencies means I will have to install all the packages on which my application is depending. So for doing that, let's open the command prompt and here I will change it to eDrive and then angular tp. So once I am done with that, I will simply say npm install. So what it will do, if you will specify any particular package name let such as express or somewhat, so it will install that particular package only. But if I'll say npm install only, so it will install all the dependencies which are specified there in the package.json. So let's execute this. Since there are so many dependencies are there, so many package dependencies are there, so it will take a bit time and once it is done, we will be good enough to begin with the basic application of Angular. So as you can see here, it installed 482 packages in around 2 minutes. So let's see what all changes are being made. 
So here you can see initially only two folders that is E2E and SRC folders were there but now I have node underscore modules folder inside which I have 349 items in which all the dependencies have been installed. Now it is all about the environment setup of my node application. Now we will see about the structure whatever the structure is there means how we will have to start the work with a basic angular application and how to execute an application in our next video.